Browns and Steelers, 1 o'clock at Acroshore Stadium in Pittsburgh. Let's do three things to watch. Let's make our picks. Mary Kay, what do you have? You know, I'm going to go with Miles Garrett. He's in the news because of all of this Jadavian clowny stuff. Miles Garrett really is going to have to go out there for the most part on his own and try to get to Kenny Pickett, try to beat the double teams and maybe even the triple teams uh, that he's going to be facing in this game. They're not going to make it easy. He wants to try to get the sack title. He's two and a half away from that right now with 15. He can also break his own club record of 16. So lots at stake for, for Miles Garrett. Ashley, what about you? I'm going to really be watching besides scoping out my Taylor Swift Eras Tour tickets <laughs> in Acrisure Stadium for this summer. I'm going to be watching the battle in the trenches. I think that was so important. The last game they played Pittsburgh last season. Of course, they won't have Jack Conklin in this one, so it's probably going to be James Hudson getting the start. He was a notorious talking point after that game going against TJ Watt. He gave up three of the nine sacks the Browns allowed in that game, and he told me today he learned a lot from that game. He spent a lot of time in the offseason re-watching his performance in that game and watching TJ Watt. So I'm really curious about that matchup in particular and how the Browns look without Jack Conklin. And I'm going to watch how the Browns deal with Kenny Pickett. You want to make the rookie quarterback look like a rookie quarterback. Kenny has led some game winning drives, but he's also had his struggles. He's not thrown for multiple touchdowns in a game yet. This pass defense has gotten much better. Uh, they've been forcing turnovers, and they need to continue uh, to do that against a quarterback like Kenny Pickett, not give him a chance to win that game in the end. So let's make our picks. I'm going to pick the Steelers in this game, and I think Jadavion Clowney, this whole situation just kind of uh, makes me feel a little more confident in that pick. So I'm going to go Steelers 19, Browns 16. Ashley? It pains me to say because I thought at the beginning of this week I might pick the Browns, but I'm also going to go to the, with the Steelers, Dan, and I know you've been talking about this, and I agree with you completely. The Steelers have so much more to play for. They're still in the playoff hunt. They want to give Mike Tomlin another winning season. He's never had a losing season in his coaching career, so they need to avoid that 8-9 and nine record, and I think they're going to be able to do that at home. And let's also not forget, you know, DeMar Hamlin is from Pittsburgh. He played his college ball there, Mary Kay, and, uh, you know, we, we keep getting good news on him. Mike Tomlin knows him, so there's just so much emotion there uh, with the Steelers. What's your pick for this yeah, game? Yeah, Steelers at home. I mean, it really does seem to be all lining up uh, towards a Steelers victory. But I'm going with the Browns in this game because it's Deshaun Watson's first game against the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Browns-Steelers rivalry. I know how much he wants to win this game. I know how much he knows it means to the Browns fans. And he's been heating up again with Amari Cooper. Uh, you know, I think David Njoku might have the potential to have a, a pretty decent game this game. Uh, I do think there are defensive issues that will not make it easy for them. Uh, um, but again, they're starting to play better in the back end, and I think that could help them this game. So I'm going with the Browns. I started this pick before <laughs> Jada the Jadavian Clowney issue, so I'm going to stick with it 24 to 20. All right, Browns and Steelers, 1 o'clock at Acroshore Stadium in Pittsburgh. We'll cover it all at cleveland.com slash Browns.